Hello and welcome to Sin Michael C Learning Classes students. You know, I am your English teacher, Dr. Kumari Anjali. And yesterday we had started the first chapter, the last lesson of standard 12. And um, I, just, uh, I, I had given, in brief, I had given you uh, the summary of the chapter and then after that we had started line by line explanation. We found that there is a boy who is not willing to go to his school. He is belonging from France and he is unable to, uh, he is not willing to go to his school. The reason is that he just wanted to enjoy the field in open area. Uh, he just wanted to hear the chirping of birds and all. He wanted to enjoy the exercises done by um, German forces, Prussia forces that had captured their the stick, I'll say, and Lauren. Now, what happened? But anyhow, he tried and he was on his way to. He, does, he had resisted his, himself and now he was in the way to his school, on the way to his school, and uh, um, suddenly he found near the notice board, near the bulletin board, people were gathered and they were seeing something. The boy became afraid. The reason was that their country was a slab. There are two districts, Alsek and Lauren, uh, belonging to France, they were belonging to France, were captured by Prussia and Prussia was the combination of three countries, Germany, Poland and few parts of Austria. So, these, uh, the boy became very sad, he was unable to go to his school, he, he was not willing to go to his school, the reason why the teacher has given homework, he didn't do, that's why. On the other hand, when we, we saw the crowd, he became sad because the new order, he was expecting a new order from Berlin. When he was on his way, he found that um, the um, blacksmith watcher was there and he, told, he had told to him, he just met fun of him, he told that there is no need to run to his school. Why are you so much in hurry? But in spite of it, finally the boy reached to his school. He found that something unusual was there because there was no hustle, no bustle, not a single sound was coming. Uh, the pushing and pulling, the sound of pushing and pulling of uh, uh, table and benches were not there. At the same moment, the teacher's ruler, wrapping of, tapping of teacher's ruler was not there. That's why uh, he was afraid. What is going on exactly? Is it Sunday morning? Is the school closed? Finally, he reached. He found all his friends were there already. I think here I have completed. Now you see. So finally, he is there. He was feeling ashamed, the students. Anybody can imagine how I blessed, but what happened and how frightened I was. But anyhow, he managed to reach to the classroom, you see, but nothing happened. He was afraid of being scolded. He was afraid that the teacher will scold him suddenly. But what happened? M. Hamel saw me and said very kindly, go to your place quickly, little friends. What is the name of the boy? Friend. So, the teacher M. Hamel didn't scold him, he just told that please go and sit at your place, we were beginning without you. So, we were just about to start the chapter, you go and sit at your place. I jumped over the bench and sat down at my desk. So, now the boy rushed to his place. Not till then, when I had got a little over my fright, did I see that our teacher had on his beautiful green coat? So, first of all, I got over my fear. I became comfortable and after that, I saw my teacher who had worn the beautiful green coat and little black silk cap all embroidered. So, the dress that his wore, he wore on that day was completely different from the usual dress that he used to wear. He found his teacher dressed differently on that day. Generally, the dress he used to wear on uh, which day? 
that she never wore except on inspection day and prize days. So the special dress that he used to keep with him and he used to wear on the day of expect inspection and prize day. On that day we found the teacher has worn that. What was the reason? It was a matter of surprise. First of all he came late but teacher didn't school. Now when he saw the dress that he wore, he became surprised. What is this? Today is not prize distribution day. It's not the inspection day also. So what is the special here? Why did the teacher wear that particular dress that he used to wear on the day of expect inspection and prize distribution day? Besides, the whole school seemed so strange and solemn. Solemn means what here students? It means serious. So he found everything was looking strange. Strange means what? Different, completely different, unknown, something strange, something new, something different was there. And at the same time, seriousness is there. He was, uh, he was a little bit bewildered. What is going on? What is going on exactly that everything is happening in a strange way? No hustle and bustle, no sound, no scolding. Teacher's dress also, that's why these all things were making the situation strange and serious. But the thing that surprised me most was to see on the back benches that were always empty. The village people sitting with quietly like ourselves. So, it's telling. But he found another surprise also, another strange thing also inside of the class. What did he found? find? That at the back bench, that generally the back benches used to be uh, empty. Now what happened? What happened? The villagers were sitting there. He was surprised. Why did they came? Why did they come? Why did they sit there? What is the reason? He found old horses with his three cornered hat. He found old horses was there wearing cap. The former mayor, the former postmaster, and several other besides. So all the villages were there enjoying inside of the class. What is this? What was happening in the class? The teacher, uh, the boy was shocked. Everybody looked sad. And everybody who was sitting inside of the class, pretending like the students, they were sad. And Vashar had brought an old primer. What do you mean by primer students? Primer means the uh, first book of any language. Like in class, uh, sorry, in KG1, you are using the book where it's written ABCD or Kakadu of any particular language. The first book that is the primer book that is called primer. Thumb at the age. What do you mean by thumb? That is torn. At the age, age means bring kinarete, and he held it open on his knees with his great spectacles lying across the pages. So everybody was sad, and even he found Hoshir who was there with a book, a primer book of French language, and the book was an old one, but in spite of it, he had opened the book and he was paying attention. What was the reason you see? So, in Hindi, I am telling you, वो लड़का स्कूल में पहुंचने के बाद टीचर्स के द्वारा इंस्ट्रक्शंस दिए जाने पे वो अपनी जगह पे फ्रेंच बैठ गया और वो जब उसने अपनी डर पे काबू पाई उसके बाद उसने ध्यान से देखा कि यानी मेरे शिक्षक तो आज अनयूजुअल वे में ड्रेस्ड हैं जो ड्रेस वो जनरली इंस्पेक्शन डे और प्राइज डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन के दिन पहना करते थे आज उन्होंने पहना है क्या रीजन है फिर नेक्स्ट सरप्राइज भी उसके लिए था नेक्स्ट सरप्राइज क्या था कि बेंच क्लास में लास्ट बेंच जो जनरली एम हुआ करता था उस बेंच पे विलेजर्स बैठे हुए थे इवन एक विलेजर हॉशर तो अपने साथ ओल्ड प्राइमर भी लेकर आया था फ्रेंच लैंग्वेज की बुक लेकर आया था फर्स्ट बुक लेकर आया था ही वॉज सरप्राइज बिकॉज एवरीथिंग वॉज लुकिंग स्ट्रेंथ एवरीथिंग वॉज लुकिंग सीरियस नाउ यू गो गो ऑल स्टूडेंट्स While I was wondering about it all, M. Hamel mounted his chair and, in the same grave and gentle tone which he had used to me, said, My children, this is the last mission 
I said with you. What a lie! What type of feeling that they got? It was just like uh, they became shocked. I think after hearing it, they became shocked. They were shocked. You see, now the children, now the teacher has started with a very gentle tone. He told to everyone that my children, this is the last class that you are getting today. This is the last French class, last lesson of French class, French language that you are going to take today. Now you see, the order has come from Berlin to teach only German in the schools of Alsek and Lauren. The new master comes tomorrow. This is your last French lesson. I want to be very attentive. Now, the teacher very sadly, in a very uh, serious note, he conveyed the reason why everything was strange on that day. He told that a new order came from Germany. Berlin, capital of Germany is Berlin. So, a new order came from Berlin that there would not be any class of French from the next day. And the new teacher, who is, te who is the teacher? The German teacher will come to teach German language. That's why this was the last class, last lesson of French language. And that's why the teacher is telling, I will be attentive. It means you people pay your attention. It means last May, teacher ne clear kiya, ki aakhir sab kush alag kyun hai, vichitra sa kyun hai. शिक्षक का कहना है कि बच्चों आज हमारा ये लास्ट लेसन है क्योंकि वी आर कैप्चर्ड बाय प्रूशिया फोर्सेस एंड अल्सेक एंड लोरेन इन दो स्कूल्स में इस डिस्ट्रिक्स के दो स्कूल इन डिस्ट्रिक्स के इन दोनों डिस्ट्रिक्स के स्कूल्स में कल से फ्रेंच लैंग्वेज की कोई क्लास नहीं होगी आज हमारा लास्ट लेसन है हमारी मदर लैंग्वेज जो है मातृभाषा जो है मदर टंग जो है उसका लास्ट लेसन हम देने वाले हैं दैट्स वाई आई वॉन्ट यू पीपल टू बी वेरी वेरी अटेंटिव यू पे अटेंशन बिकॉज दिस इज द लास्ट डे ऑफ फ्रेंच क्लास नाउ यू गॉर स्टूडेंट्स What a thunder clap! These words were to me. Now the boy became. What do you mean by this thunder clap here? It means the boy became shocked. Oh, that was the reason. That was the reason. That's why everything was looking so strange. The teacher, the villagers, the people, and especially the whole scenario, the classroom, and of course the school. Everything was seen. Uh, everything was looking serious. Graveness was there. And now he got his answer. Why the teacher has worn that particular dress that he used to wear on occasionally. On the oh, the riches. Disappointed. That was what they had put up at the town hall. Now he got the answer that uh, what was pasted on the notice board. Notice board pe kya paste tha? He was just a uh, the question was arise, uh, was arised in his mind at the beginning of the chapter we found here again he got the answer my last French lesson who is telling this what is the name of the boy the name of the boy is French he was belonging from France France the two district of two districts of France were captured by were captured by who Russia and now there will be no teaching of French language for the very next day. That's why everybody was shocked and disappointed. This was the last lesson. Why? I hardly knew how to write. For the first time he found how much happiness he had for his mother tongue. He became sad. Oh, I have to leave my motherland tongue. I have to, uh, I have to learn uh, and know uh, that uh, foreign language, German language, Will happen. I don't know how to write even. I should never learn anymore. It's still. I must stop there. Then, oh, how sorry I was for not learning my lessons, for singing birds egg or going sliding on the Seine. Seine is a river in France. Seine is a name of a river in France. So it's the boy became sad in singing. He was really blaming himself that he never paid attention in the class. He used to run outside for collecting birds' sake and generally 
going to the river. Now today he is feeling sad that he never paid attention in the class and from very next day he will not get chance to learn his own mother language. So heavy to carry. My grammar and my history of the sense were old friends now that I could not keep up. Now the books of history, the books of grammar that used to be um, load on his back that generally he used to recognize them, used to think about them as load. Now for the first time he found they became his old friend. He didn't want to give up. He didn't want to leave them. For the first time he realized though these books are my friend. My grammar book, especially my language book is my friend. How can I leave him? And M. Hamel, the teacher too, the idea that she was going away, that I should never see him again, made me forget all about this ruler and how cranky he was. Cranky means what is students? Cranky means short tempered. So for the first time he found affinity for his teacher M. Hamel. He never liked his teacher, his grammar teacher. But for the first time he found that he had developed a bond that he has with his teacher and for the first time he found that his ruler and his short temper, the person who was so much short tempered who used to have the ruler, it is not going to make him frightened anymore and that's why he became very sad that he, he will have to leave his teacher and of course he will have to leave his grammar. Ever born, he will have to leave his mother tongue. That's why the word thunder clap is used here. I am repeating it in Hindi students. So, abhi pehle bach, uh, ladke ko bahut dukh hota hai, wo disappointed ho jata hai ki aray, ye toh mera last lesson hai. Aaj ke baad mein kabhi apni mother tongue ke baare mein, apni madri bhaasha ke baare mein nahi chal paunga, nahi pad paunga. Kaash mein ne pehle aisa kiya hota hai, kaash mein ne apni tayari ki hoti, padha hota hai at least, mein toh likhna bhi nahi jata. Mein ne क्लास में कभी बर्ड में कभी ध्यान नहीं दिया मैं तो बर्ड्स के एग्स लेने के लिए या रिवर्स में एंजॉय करने के लिए सैर में जाने के लिए तैयार होता था हमेशा खुश रहता था और जो बुक्स ग्रामर की बुक और हिस्ट्री बुक जो मुझे हमेशा एक दे वर नॉट इजी टू कैरी इन दोस डेज व्हेन यू यूज टू स्टडी इज फ्रेंच लैंग्वेज जो उसे लोड बर्डन की तरह लगते थे आज उसे अपने पुराने दोस्त प्रतीत होने लगे ऐसे ही समय में वो टीचर एम हेमल जो कभी उसे हमेशा डरावने भयानक व्यक्तित्व के रूप में प्रतीत होते थे और उनके रूलर को देखकर वो डर जाया करता था आज उसने पाया कि अरे उसके भीतर तो अपने टीचर के लिए भी एक नया बॉन्ड डेवलप कर गया है दिस इज वॉट द चैप्टर इज टिल स्टूडेंट्स I hope you understood. Students, you continue your study. You do practicing the things that are taught in this school. Uh, we will meet again tomorrow. Thank you.